Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope you're all having a smashing day and that I find you all very well indeed. Right, so this is my wee review of the contents that I got in this month's August Degusta box for the UK. Um, so we got it just over a week ago and I've tried most of the things now so I can give you a fair opinion of what we actually thought of the contents in the box. So let's get right into it and see what I thought. The first thing that I pulled out of the box was this Illy coffee and as suspected it was absolutely wonderful. It's the smoothest instant coffee I think I've ever tried and everyone in the house that tried it absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean it's a bit pricey but this size of can will last a wee while because you really don't need much, you know, to get a really nice cup of coffee. So yeah, that'll definitely be getting repurchased when it runs out. The next thing we pulled out were these noodles. Now, these were absolutely amazing and by far the best instant noodles that I've ever tried. I've actually tried noodles from this brand before that I wasn't really that impressed with. They're just kind of, nah, they're just instant noodles, nothing special. But this actual range that they're doing, these fusion ones, um, which I've only ever tried this flavour from, they were just so unusual and the flavour was so deep and just all round amazing. There had a wee oil sachet in there, a sachet of vegetables and obviously a sachet of seasoning and when it's all combined it's just amazing. So yeah, they'll be getting repurchased as well. These wee crisps guys, I'm not going to lie, they, they were okay, you know, they're just sort of, they're, they're kind of dry but as they're in your mouth they sort of, they get moist and I don't know, I just, I wasn't keen on them and for one ninety nine per bag, I definitely, nobody was that keen on them and I definitely wouldn't spend one ninety nine on them. Like I say, you know, if they were in a bag of six for even £2.53, I think that would be better value, but as they are just now, no, they wouldn't be getting repurchased. The next thing I pulled out were these Round Trees Randoms. Now, I've had these before, so... I knew what these were going to taste like, but these were the 30% less sugar ones, so they were just a wee bit different, but not too different, and I actually preferred them because they tasted a wee bit sharper than the normal ones, so yeah, I would probably go for these ones rather than the originals when I go to buy them again, so yeah, good. The next thing I pulled out were these wee cereal bars. Now, I was pleasantly, start again, pleasantly surprised at these. I wasn't really expecting much, but they were so they were absolutely delicious, actually. I was quite surprised, given that they're low in sugar, low in salt, low in everything. So, yeah, these were fab. I wouldn't buy them again, but it was nice to try them. The next thing I pulled out was this hemp milk. Now, I haven't tried this, but I've passed it on to somebody who is vegan, and uh, she's got back to me and said it's fab as well. So no complaints about that. She just has it in tea and coffee, not cereal. And it's that's going down well as far as I know. So yeah. And at £1.60 for a litre, I think that's pretty good value. It's actually nice to get these kind of things in the boxes. So it lets you try things like I say you wouldn't normally pick up. And this cereal is another winner. Um, I haven't tried it, but Mother Half and... Another couple of folk in the house have tried it and they think it's absolutely fabulous. They think it's a bit pricey. Um, I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm not a cereal lover for what it is, but, you know, it was very, very nice to try it. You know, it just it tastes like a luxury muesli. I mean, I would have no qualms about buying it, you know, if it was requested in the future, I would certainly pick it up. Especially, if it, you know, if it was on offer or something like that, I would definitely pick it up. The combination of the dried raspberries and the apples and the, you know, the spelt and the buckwheat apparently was very, very nice. So yeah, thumbs up for that. It's always nice to get these kind of things to try in the box that, like I said, you wouldn't, you wouldn't maybe normally pick up. So thank you very much to Gusta Box for that. The next thing I pulled out the box were these tuna fillets with the chilli and the garlic oil and these were fab as well we just had that with some a wee bit of salad and some uh, tuna sorry it's tuna <laughs> some jacket potatoes so some jacket potatoes and a wee bit of salad and this as the topping for the potatoes and it was lovely very rich though so you wouldn't want too much of it but yeah it was lovely 
And again, this was just another one of these wee cereal bars. I preferred this one to the chocolate one. I tried a wee corner of this, mother half of the rest of it. It was very, very heavy on the cinnamon. You could taste the, the cinnamon, you could taste the apple and the grains. So I preferred this one to the chocolate and mallow one. I'm not really a chocolatey person. I'm, I would much rather something fruit based, so that was lovely. 75 pence, I mean, it's, you know, brilliant price. The next thing I pulled out were these two drinks. Again, I wasn't sure what to expect. One was a sort of cola and ginger, and the other one was lemon and raspberry, I believe. The cola and ginger one was fabulous, and it's the nicest cola drink I've ever had, and I'm not just saying that. There was a real ginger kick in it as well. You got a wee, that wee burn at the back of your throat from the ginger, which was lovely. And out of the two, this was the nicer one. The lemon and raspberry one was okay. You know, it was lovely when it was chilled in the fridge. I wouldn't rush out and buy that one because there are too many other similar drinks on the market. But if I seen the cola one and I was looking for a cola drink, I would definitely go for the cola one over the likes of, you know, Pepsi or Coca-Cola, they kind of things. So I'll definitely be looking out, out for that the next time I'm looking for a cola drink. I'm not really sure where it's sold. I'll have to look into that, whether it's going to be available in the supermarkets or whether it's just going to be online, so I don't know. So that will be worth looking at. The next thing we got was this alcoholic soda. Now I tried a wee, a wee sort of sip of this and it was very nice. Quite an unusual flavour and it's hard to really pin down exactly what it is. It's just very fruity with a wee sort of kick of alcohol in the background. My partner liked this though. I mean, he likes sort of fruit ciders and things, so this is right up his street. And he, he tries most of these sort of cider drinks that I get in the Degusta boxes. So that was it, that was the end of the box. And like I say, probably my favorite box to date, I would say, if not, definitely my second favorite. And uh, yeah, it was 2574, I think, were the contents. So I mean, so sorry, 2557. So, I mean, really good value when you consider that you're paying £12.99 for the box and uh, if you're using the £5 off coupon, you know you're getting your first box for £7.99. So, it works out fantastic value that way. So, might let me know if you're thinking about getting it a go and what you think of your boxes, guys. It's always interesting to see, you know, a different point of view from your own, if you like. So, that was it. That was my opinion of the contents of the August 2018 UK Degusta box. So thank you very much again for popping over and seeing what I thought of the box. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Bye now.